I've got all kinds of strategies and tactics that you can leverage to gain more subscribers. Strategies and tactics you've never heard from me or anybody else. Stick around. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's me, Brian G. Welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time, welcome, I'm Brian. And if you wanna grow on YouTube, well, stake your claim and amplify your message by subscribing. Click on the bell notification and you'll be on your way. Now that was traditionally called a subscriber call to action. I'm calling for viewers to take action by becoming subscribers. And then I was very clear and specific about clicking the subscribe button, clicking the bell notification. That's old school. It works, but today we're gonna to talk about really being unobtrusive, of not getting in the way of what the viewer really wants, which might be information, entertainment, a great vlog you're publishing, whatever. So that's step number one, is to leverage the power of unintrusive reminders. Reminders for people to subscribe, like. Step number two, add something to your backdrop that reminds viewers to become subscribers like that subscribe pillow right there. For example, a lot of successful YouTubers, including myself, well, we use what I like to call subscribe lower thirds. They bounce in the lower third of the video and they've got a pretty clear message. That is you should subscribe. These are awesome because you don't have to interrupt the gameplay. You don't have to interrupt the message you're delivering, the information you're delivering. Number three, this one is awesome. Better use of end screens. Here's what's up. You know, actually, let's leave that till the end when we get to the end screens and I'll, I'll demonstrate in real time. Excellent. Item number four, a branded watermark. That's what YouTube calls it, your branded watermark. Now, I, I don't like that because it leads people to think I should come up with like my logo, it should have my name or something that represents my channel. I think a far better idea is to leverage the power of a branded watermark that looks like a subscribe button. Now you can access and upload your branded watermark subscriber icon by accessing YouTube Creator Studio and then channel and then branding? Yes, indeed, branding. Now you can use a free site like Canva to create the icon or the graphic that you need to upload. There are specifications as far as the size goes on that page on YouTube, you'll have no problem. Furthermore, you may wanna use an app for your phone. The goal is to create something that reminds people to subscribe, make it red and add the lettering subscribe. Now here we go with item number five. It's almost as powerful as number six, keep watching. Item number five, your specially coded subscriber link. Notice down in the description of this video, you'll see the first link in this video description. Now what you'll notice is that the link is my channel link. There's nothing fancy about it until we get to the question mark. And then after that, it's like sub confirmation equals one. And this is the code you wanna add to the end of your YouTube channel link and when you do so when somebody clicks that they'll actually get like a pop-up that tells viewers to subscribe they really can't do anything until they either subscribe or they don't subscribe so that's a powerful way to gain more subscribers use this link in your email use this link on social media share this link in reports that you write or when you send an email to a pal this is the link you want to use because it'll get you more subscribers. Item number six, surprise YouTuber authority grab. This is what I mean. Have you seen some of the videos of mine where in the beginning of the video, instead of me saying this is a good video and you should watch, Nick Nimmin appears in the video? Well, I had this idea of, you know, wanting to keep viewers engaged. I had this idea that if, if I worked with Nick and created some clips with Nick for Nick and vice versa, well then I could include those in my video. And that led to this whole idea of creating a subscribe call to action, but to have another YouTuber 
create that subscribe call to action. Roll the clip. Hey, I'm Nick Nimmin. What Brian is getting ready to share with you in this video is going to help you drive more views. So do this. Make sure that you watch this entire video because it's a winner. And make sure you subscribe too. Brian? I like this for so many reasons. Number one, subscribers, they're not anticipating someone else showing up in the video. Now, if you can get a bigger YouTuber than you to create a very short clip that says this is a good video, make sure to watch till the end and subscribe. Very powerful. Item number seven, form your own YouTube subscribe gang. My gang is the world-class wrecking crew. <laughs> Do you remember that old video with me and Nick Nimmin? What? World class wrecking crew? This is video. This is video. What? World class wrecking crew? Wanna watch the picture go fly? <laughs> <laughs> this is this is so this is so goofy. <laughs> Yeah, world class wrecking crew. And and there you can see, like if you look at Nick Nemon's channel, the, the posse is there, the the gang, the YouTube gang. <laughs> and this is a, a great way to have fun. Uh, we, we named it World Class Wrecking Crew because it just sounded like fun. Okay, we've got some extras. Here's where it gets really good. Number eight, leverage the community tab with your YouTube gang. You'll see me and Nick Nimmin sharing videos back and forth, posting each other's videos to our community tab. You can do the same exact thing. Now here's what's up. The community tab will be available to all YouTube creators, including you in the coming weeks, months. I don't think it's gonna be too much longer. And this is a powerful tool to drive more views, to do the simple collaborations. The new collaboration is so easy. You just share a video from another YouTuber on your community tab and they can do the same thing. Bam, that is powerful. That is simple. Hey Nick, thanks for sharing. Not already subscribed to Nick Nimmin? Check out the YouTube card. And item number nine, better use of YouTube end screens. When you get to the end of your video, don't say, thanks for watching. Don't say, I hope you liked that. You don't wanna let viewers know you're, you're at the end of the content. Instead, you wanna prompt them again. Now what you do wanna do is pitch your channel. Come up with a short phrase or tagline. Mine is, hey, if you wanna grow, well, stake your claim, amplify your message by subscribing. And this is the tip in number nine. When you get to the end screen, you wanna tell viewers to subscribe first. Then the only thing you wanna have in your end screen is the subscribe icon for your channel. Don't add a video element for the first maybe five seconds. Then add a video element. I usually add to best for viewer as well as most recent video and then I'm done. And the result is the only choice they have is to subscribe or not. Less choices is better. I'll see you next time.